Hello rugby fans, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another episode of my Rugby Union Team Manager 3 series as the Bristol Bears and in this episode we are wrapping up the first season of this career mode. Things aren't in the greatest of positions shall we say. So it'll be good to finish up this first season in the best way we can. Hope to take some momentum into the next season. So yeah, we're going to wrap it up today with a home matchup against Leicester Tigers, followed by the final game of the season, which is away to London Irish. But before we do get into the episode, please do drop a like if you enjoy today's content. Leave a comment down below, I get back to all of them. Give me your tips and advice as always. And of course, once this season is over, are there any players out there I should look at bringing into this Bears squad just to strengthen them and hopefully move us up the table for next season? If I don't get sacked in the off season, that is. And of course, the main thing, if you want to stay up to date with the channel, please do move that subscribe button. So here we go today with today's episode. If you have a little look at the table, we are third from bottom. My aim a couple of episodes ago was to try and finish above Bath. Not sure that is going to happen. Um, but yeah, we're not going to finish bottom. And hopefully we're not going to finish second bottom. So just doing the best we can in these last two games. The Tigers are in third place, so... Highly unlikely, I suppose, that we're going to win that match. But we finish off against, against London Irish. And I'd really like to win that one and finish the season off in style. So let's fire off to the match day against Leicester Tigers. And see how we do. An unchanged lineup from the last matchup. Almost full strength. Andy Uren is in for Randall. Perhaps... Uh, can you go back from this screen is what I want to know. I'm not sure if you can. Um, so yeah, let's just fire into it. Obviously, Tigers are a very good squad. Third in the table, George Ford. Ben Young's in England Internationals. So let's just get into it and see how we get on. Genj is on the bench for some reason. For the Tigers. I've also had a go at modding in the latest Bristol Bears kits. They don't look amazing. It's not the best work. I'm not very good with Photoshop and things like that, but I just wanted to have a little stab at it. And um, yeah, it doesn't look too bad, does it? Up close. Yeah, not the greatest, shall we say, but it'll do you don't really see the kits up close too much do you I don't think in the matches so oh goodness me Nathan Hughes has been sent off already I completely missed that so I'm not sure what he's done we're only four minutes into this game for God's sake Hughesy cannot control himself Somehow, Siali Piertau is away, close to the line. We're a man down, and we've gone in for a score from Chris Vui. So, I mean, a very peculiar start to the game, that's for sure. Very peculiar start. Lesser have won the penalty, though, and they are knocking on the door. I can't see how we're going to defend this long with a man down I mean obviously it would be fantastic but there we go oh, good try save and tackle we seem to be defending well on the 5 meter line surely it's only a matter of time still they can't quite get through out wide and there we go Leicester have scored 25 minutes gone and it's 7 points apiece we have an injury as well now to John Afoa. I have put everything to auto, so hopefully they bring him off. Ben Youngs goes in now, and you would think Leicester are only going to do, only going to pull away from here. 
Jan Thomas has come on to replace the injured Afoa. Yeah, peculiar, peculiar first half. Nathan Hughes sent off within the first few minutes. Knock on from Semi Rodradra. He went down the other end and scored, but Leicester have turned things around since. We're coming up to half time now. Up and under there from Ben Youngs. Hopefully we can just see this out until half time. And then just, uh, well, take a breather at half time and go from there. Like I said before the game, I'm not expecting the win. But having a man sent off after four or five minutes certainly doesn't help unless to wrap up the first half with another try. Another poor start to the second half with Morahan knocking on instantly, giving Tigers possession in a decent area. Yeah, you would think it's going to be a difficult second half from us. We did turn it over there. We don't seem to be... Yeah, the Tigers have turned it over in a dangerous, dangerous position. We have got a penalty, so a chance for Sheedy to get us up the pitch a bit. Didn't win the line out, unfortunately. Brian Burns, come on. Max and Heath's come on. Ben Young's is going to go in for another try. The scrum halves really do seem to love a try on this game. We'll see Randall's doing extremely well for us. Ben Young's has scored a few tries today. Yeah, disappointing. I don't know what else to say, really. Oh, oh, oh. Why didn't he go right with the pass? He did have a support line. Just salvage a bit of pride would be nice. Malins has come on. Let's go for a tap. We are banging down the door. There we go. Luke Morahan has gone in for one. Another try on the board. A man down. Ten minutes to go. Just hopefully finish the game strong. Ready for the final game of the season against London Irish. I started this series wanting to keep it as realistic as possible as far as players go for the Bears. We have had a season now with the original real life lineup so we will perhaps look at the end of the season to bring in a few players I mean we definitely need to improve don't we finishing third bottom probably and that is the end of the game so Tigers have beaten us 28-14 Ben Youngs was man of the match understandable because he scored a few tries but as soon as Hughesy got sent off within the first few minutes it was game over for us wasn't it no chance of really doing any damage. Jan Thomas played well when he came on. Luke Morahan, 72 rating. Chris Vui was the main man for us with an 83. But we're going to move straight on now and um, head into the final matchup of the season. Let us see. Home loss, Mark Tainton, yeah. Injury to John Afoa. Four weeks out, Nathan Hughes has been banned for 30 days for a high tackle. So not what you really want coming up to the end of the season, but hopefully the team we put out will be strong enough to beat second bottom London Irish. Yeah, we're certainly, well, we're fighting for 10th and 11th place going into the last game, aren't we? There's nothing really to write home about, unfortunately. Um, some injuries lower down in the system. No warnings. I think I will for the second season try and look more into the off the pitch stuff. Injury to Chris Cook. Transfer bid for Pete Allen which we will decline. Yeah and just show off a, a lot more of the game hopefully in the next season. There are lots of things that I haven't really touched on. We've briefly looked at different things like the facilities and youth teams, but I'm sure there's a lot more to this game. But I've been having a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching along.
Yeah, we'll just check out the emails first. Low morale, low morale. Colts have beaten London Irish. And the Academy have also beaten London Irish. So we're looking for a clean sweep across the board, hopefully. Let's get to the main squad and see what we can do. Um, let's go over here and see if we can bring Randall back in, which we can. So, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we need Jurin on the bench, really, don't we? So we might have to drop Lloyd from the bench. Um, of course, Nathan Hughes is banned. Probably go and Thomas, I would have thought, or Mitch Eady. Um, let's go Dan Thomas. Oh, this scroll bar is frustrating. I wish they could brighten that up. I cannot see it at all. There we go. Bring the King of South Mead onto the bench. Don't think I want to do a lot else, really. Yeah, we're going to keep it there, I think. Just finish off this season, then we'll have a. Uh, injured players in the main. Of course, John Afoa. Bringing Jan Thomas on because he played well when he came on in the last game. Put. Put Jake Warmer on the bench and then we go from there. Begin the match. Here we go then. The final game of this series, uh, not of this series, sorry, of the season against London Irish. Second bottom versus third bottom. Surely we can finish this season in style. Let's get off. To the matchup and finish this season strongly hopefully are we wearing the away kit no we're not home kit again go fast we'll go with a behind camera I think today just to finish things off Let's see how we do we've got possession First penalty of the game. Let's kick to touch and look to build from there. Irish have won it back, unfortunately. They've kicked it. They've won the line out as well. Come on, the boys. Dig deep. Dig deep. We haven't had a man sent off yet, so that's more positive from the last game. London Irish are going to go in, are they? Yes, they've just managed to get to the line, so a disappointing start for us already. Let's move the camera around, can not really see us very well with that camera. Irish again knocking on the door, pushing back, lovely. Oh, we need to find the ball somewhere here, we need to turn that ball over. We need to battle in the breakdown. Again, it's one of those games as Irish go over for the second score just before half just before half time. It's one of those games where again we don't have possession. So we're not doing if we have possession we're dangerous against anybody. But it seems to be another one of those games where we haven't got possession, so we're not causing any problems and we can't seem to win the ball back. And as I mentioned in previous episodes, I don't know whether that means we need to look into some ball winners, some turnover kings. I mean, in real life, Ben Earl is one of the best around, but doesn't quite seem to be doing it on the game. And we're coming up to 20 minutes to go, and we haven't really created anything at all. Irish have boss possession. 
dominating territory and they've just gone in for their third try of the match so terrible stuff from us going to need a complete rethink in terms of staff playing staff tactics and just go again look at this lovely skill there but embarrassing second bottom London Irish and we're getting thumped we're not finishing the season with a bang but more of a whimper terrible stuff like I was saying, a complete overhaul and literally a carbon copy again. A shambles. Absolute shambles. Kick it away. Put us out of our misery. <sighs> what a way to finish the season. I don't even want to look at that. Not even going to recap it. Terrible. Really, really terrible. Yes, Mark, I understand. An away loss. Don't rub it in, mate. So, unfortunately, after all of that, we have finished the season second bottom. We've got Callum Sheedy in the standings to talk of the player of the year. Not sure how when we've played absolutely abysmal. As far as our season stats go, you probably can't see it there because of the camera. But Harry Randall is leading absolutely everything. Really is our main man. We'll just click on now and see what happens. I mean, will I keep my job? I'm not really sure. Look at all this low morale transfer bid. Decline. So much low morale. Yeah, I'm not sure how it works if you get a season review or anything like that injury to Jake Keenan transfer bid decline um, delete the low morale delete everything there um, I'm not sure if it sort of wraps the season up and says the new season will be starting or anything like that this is all new to me we are processing sure right now the playoffs and final are probably taking place sixteen messages no round no round no round no warnings no round doesn't look like anything of note continue again another transfer bid eleven emails more low morale injury to Charles Piertau Line. Um, whereabouts are we on the date? We're coming up to June. So if this is all we get, <clears throat> usually on games you sort of get like a season, end of season recap or just a screen saying you're now into the second season or anything like that, but doesn't seem to be anything. Would love to be able to work. There we go. All low morale, nothing of interest. Um, yeah, so we've reached the 1st of June, so I'll leave it there. Because I do want to have a real good go at maybe searching for some players to sign. Have a little look at the tactics. And really just have a good go in this second season and see if we can improve. Because that, f that first season there was extremely disappointing to say the least. Finishing second bottom. Who knows, maybe I'll even get sacked, I don't know, it's been terrible. Um, yeah, we're just going to have a rethink of things, have a little rejig, looking to the, uh, the staff, some training, and just hopefully improve going into our second season. So I hope you've enjoyed this season finale, leave a like if you have, leave a comment down below, I get back to all of them, and of course... Please do give me any tips or any players or anything you want me to do in the off-season to help improve our chances going into the next season. If you haven't already, please move that subscribe button. I've also been asked if you guys, if you do have the game, to please rate the game on Steam. It really helps the developers and 
shows them that you guys are enjoying it and you know as far as future releases go they need to see you guys rating the game and enjoying the game so if you could do that on steam that would be brilliant maybe it would really help us out in, in terms of maybe a rugby union team manager for going forward so if you could do that that would be great but that'll be it for today's episode i'll see you in the virtual scrum mm -hmm.